All right, welcome back everybody. Good uh, Friday evening to you all. Second week of uh, night skiing at Great Divide. It looks pretty open on the slopes there, but uh, great conditions, uh, especially with the nice weather, not a lot of wind and uh, nice sunshine until the sun goes down, of course, but uh, pretty nights nice as well. 36 degrees currently in Great Falls. South wind 13 miles per hour. That's nothing in the capital city. 31 degrees. Southwest winds three miles per hour. You know it's been calm pretty much all day long, all week long, really. Haven't had much in the way of uh, wind uh, after that little wind event that came through on uh, Monday, I believe. Uh, there you can see the temperatures a little cooler today across north central Montana in the afternoon. There's a little minor front that dropped the numbers down here just a bit, but still pretty chilly in the uh, western valleys. Again, Bozeman, Butte, Dillon, Missoula, Kalispell, including the Helena Valley, which made it down to five degrees last night. That's pretty chilly. A fairly light wind again in the western part of the state. Fairly light wind across all of Montana right now. Well, we don't have wind speeds 20, 30 miles per hour. That's pretty good, right? On the radar, very, very quiet, but we're still looking at some air quality issues here. Air stagnation, the air quality at worst is moderate, so for the most part, it's not too terrible here, but again, from around uh, Ronan and St. Ignatius, up the Flathead Valley through Polson, uh, around uh, Lakeside, all the way up through Kalispell and Whitefish, there is an inversion, and it's uh, trapping a lot of that low-level moisture, so uh, like they can get socked in, it's uh, socked in up there. Of course, on the top of Whitefish, though, Mount Whitefish Mountain, that is, on top of Big Mountain, if you're an old timer, or old schooler, uh, you can look out and just look at that sea of clouds underneath, which is always pretty cool. Uh, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, and western Montana. Some air stagnation issues here. Uh, there's a big storm that will develop into a major snow event, one to two feet up into northern New England, coming in uh, for tomorrow into Sunday. But quite the opposite of that here throughout the west with high pressure once again dominating our weather. A few storms make a run at it trying to come in here, but look at that just fizzle away uh, here as we go through Saturday and Sunday. We have mostly sunny skies into Monday as well. Tuesday is when the ridge starts to break down. Probably have a little more in the way of cloud cover on Tuesday, followed by a little mix of rain and snow showers into Wednesday, possibly into Thursday morning. A little light shower event here coming through, but Friday night into Saturday, this could be a little more. We could be talking about maybe an inch or two of accumulation in the lower elevation. Speaking of snow, again, the storm track way off towards the north coastal British Columbia, just getting pummeled with snow, but heading into Tuesday night and then Wednesday, Wednesday into Thursday and then Friday. There you can see just a little in the way of some accumulation. So the ridge of high pressure will be breaking down as we go through middle and later next week. Here's the forecast for tonight. Not uh, as mild as it was last night for some areas, but uh, certainly not cold. Teens and 20s, 20s to about 30 in central Montana. And we've got teens here, but again, some of those normally colder spots will be down into the single digits uh, here tonight. Here's the forecast for tomorrow, Saturday. A real warm day up into the 40s and the 50s. A little colder northeast Montana and closer to the Canadian border, but Lewistown, more melting snow and around the Helena area inverted, but sunny again with high temperatures close to 40 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast for Helena and looking at low 40s the next few days into Monday with calm conditions and mostly sunny skies. Increasing clouds Tuesday, Wednesday, a couple of mixed rain and snow showers. Friday, I'm going to call it some snow showers right now. It does not look like much accumulation. And for Great Falls, we're in the 50s, almost 60 degrees on Tuesday. A couple of mixed rain and snow showers Wednesday. And again, a more widespread snow shower activity next Friday. Thank you, Curtis.